Hello, my name is Jessie, and in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the OPAC to search the EBSCO discovery platform to look for online resources. The first thing you'll want to do is go to your library's OPAC or discovery system. This will allow you to search the Koha catalog along with EBSCO's EDS platform. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you are logged into your account. This will verify that you are logged into the system so you can view your information immediately. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the left hand side and we're going to look at the search drop down menu. That search will show me either discovery or switch to catalog. If I select the catalog that will search Koha exclusively. If I search to Discovery, that will allow me to search EDS. And what we'll do today is we'll show you options that you have in your facets to drill down and, and look through the system. So let's start by doing a basic search in the system. And I'm going to look for abnormal psychology. I'll come over here to the right hand side and click Go. That's going to take me into a list of results, bringing back any match for abnormal psychology. And as you can see here, it also pulls in your research starter. So I can see that research starter that comes from the EDS platform. Now over here on the left hand side, we're going to have our facets. Those facets will let us refine our search where we could limit to, let's say, full text or maybe peer reviewed. If I'm looking for a specific date an item was published on, if I want to expand my search, any type of source types, any subjects that I want to drill down by, let's say I wanted to look at anxiety. As I scroll a little further, you'll be able to see I can drill down by publisher or subject, publication, language, geography, category, publication year, and then finally content provider. Now, if I am authenticated, and of course, if your system or university or college uses an authentication, you'll be able to get right in and view, um, let's say, a PDF full text. So rather than having to go into a second location, I can click right on that PDF full text. As long as I am logged in or authenticated, it will take me right to that content. So you'll see it opened that PDF right in my browser. I can easily go back to the Koha catalog and then go through and look at the rest of my results. These will be my brief results that are sorted by relevancy. If I want to look at date newest or oldest, I can of course change that as well. Now if I want to take a more thorough look at this particular record, I can click the title and that will take me into a detailed view of the record. A detailed view of the record will probably include information from the abstract. Over here on the right hand side I could download the citation. I can also view it in the EDS platform. You'll notice down below I also have the full text finder along with another link to view it in the EDS. I can easily go back to my result list by clicking on the link here and that will take me back to my results on the first page. I can also jump through my results by clicking on the numbered links up top and that will take me into more of my results from my search. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. Please visit bywatersolutions.com for more videos or our YouTube channel.